Hi guys, I'm Amber. I run Green Anchor Vintage, a sewing company based in Maryland. Today we're going to go over a pattern that I have never made before, so it's going to be a new experience. And I think it turned out really well. So first I'm going to show you, of course, what it is that I made. Simplicity pattern and just did the jacket here. So a couple things, why did I make it? Number one is um, if you watch Mrs. Maisel, you know that the new season starts on Friday. So I'm very excited about that. And of course, I've been seeing a lot of posting on Instagram for other girls who watch and their, their outfits that are inspired by the show. So of course, that made me want to do something that was inspired by Mrs. Maisel as well. Now, you know that in that period of time, well, maybe you do, maybe you don't, but in that period of time, your outfit had matching accessories, and one of your accessories was a hat. So I decided that I needed to get into a little bit of hat making. Now, nothing crazy. I am not buying a hat block. I'm not going to start steaming buckram. I'm not going to... Be taking any classes nothing like that all I did was watch a bunch of tutorials and basically put my own spin on making pillbox hats those are very simple that's what I'm going to stick with I may do a couple of different styles in the future we'll see I don't know I may play around with it but for right now I have made two hats so I'm pretty excited about that and today with the jacket that I'm going to show you, I actually made a hat to go with it. So I will go ahead and get that put on so that you can see what it looks like. Okay, so here's the jacket. So I'll just stand back and let you look at it a little bit and talk about the design of it. Very simple design. There are four pieces to, to the actual jacket, two front, two back, and it's raglan sleeve. If you are unfamiliar with what that means, it is just a continuous piece. So as you cut your front piece out, you're also cutting your sleeve piece out. So you don't actually have to set a sleeve in, which is really nice because I don't think anybody who sews actually likes setting sleeves in. Um, so the front here, Everything is stitched down and I'll show you the inside. This is all just bound with cotton binding tape. It does call for a lining. However, I did not feel the need to line this. This is basically like a, a blanket wool material. So it's pretty heavy by itself. And it's, you know, it's got enough structure that I don't feel like it needs to have a lining and the back of the jacket. So again, very simple and it's one of these things where I did have some pattern pieces that I could have used to do the little belt across the back here, but I decided against it. The fabric is pretty busy by itself, so I wasn't really interested in adding another detail which I felt wasn't really going to add to it um, and it did call for pockets in the front however the pockets were kind of a joke honestly especially in the way that things are today I mean um, I'll have to show you a picture of that but they're okay so here's the pillbox hat added to the mannequin and so the pockets they should have been like right here okay so like I said you couldn't even put an actual phone into the pocket so I just decided that I'm gonna wear it a few times and see if I like it um, and then we'll decide if I want to add pockets but the hat so I will go over hats in a separate video but here is a look at this and I just obviously use the same fabric as the jacket and the inside is just lined with Bemberg rayon, added a little bow to it, and I'm very happy with how that turned out. Okay, so overall, I loved the pattern, and I will make it again, 
Um, and I'll show you the inside a little bit further away. So this is just cotton twill binding and I did it all along the inside, flip the jacket inside out to show you. Um, and like I said, this is just basically, it's a, a cotton wool blend. It's like a blanket blend. So I did not feel the need to line the jacket. In the future, um, for lighter fabrics, I probably will go ahead and line it just because it just depends on the fabric that you're using and um, how much structure that you want it to have. But I really like how this turned out and it's the blue, it's a little bit brighter blue than I was kind of hoping for. But right now my goal is to be using only what I have in my stash. So if you are unfamiliar with fabric stashes, um, mine is pretty large. So I've had this fabric for, I'm not really sure it's been in there. Um, a long time ago, I bought a bunch of these. There was like one year that Joann's actually had this fabric and several different styles. So I bought a bunch of different fabrics and made some skirts with those, but they did not turn out very well. Luckily, I did not touch this one, so I had plenty of it. I think I had about a yard and a half, and honestly, the width on it was really huge. Like, if you are familiar with fabric at all, you know that it typically comes in two widths, 44, 45, or um, 58, 60, and that's in inches. Um, this one was actually almost... 70 inches wide so it was just a total fluke thing um, maybe it was supposed to be blanket material and I just didn't realize it at the time anyway for this application I feel like it was a perfect amount and of course I had enough to do the hat so that's what I wanted and I will go ahead and see after wearing it a couple of times whether or not I feel like I need to have a pocket um, when I have it on the weight of it is really nice, so I'm not really, I'm not thinking that I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So overall, yes, I love the pattern, very simple. I made this in probably three hours. and wasn't really paying too much attention. The hat for sure took three hours, and this is the second one that I made, so I will go over that, like I said, in a separate video. All right, guys, that's it for me this week. Thanks for tuning in. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can be alerted every time that I post new videos. And if you're on Instagram, you can follow me at Greenacre Vintage. Next week, we'll be going over some wardrobe basics, so I look forward to seeing you then.